Recently, I was asked a question in one of my comment sections on another video. Uh, that question was a very simple one that we hear quite often. It is, are you going to fight when the government comes for your guns, if the government comes for your guns? Uh, now, I hear this question a lot. You see it a lot. You see it thrown around. And you see a lot of uh, people talk about how they're going to fight to the death when uh, the government comes for them. And I'm glad that they say fight to the death because that's exactly what it is. It'd be suicide if you did. Uh, so my answer would be if the government's coming for guns, no, I am not going to openly fight them when they come for mine. Uh, I would like to try to think I could hide some, put some away, but I'm going to pretend to acquiesce in whatever way I can to protect myself and my family. Uh, the reason for that is, like I say, it's suicide. You're not going to be able to overcome a government the size of ours with an organized army like ours as an individual. Uh, especially not if you're still in the early stages of where they're just beginning seizures of guns and things like that. Because that, what I'm sure, is before the, the stage of open rebellion. And even open rebellion has stands very little chance uh, against, like I said, like a government like ours. Just look at countries like Syria and other places where they're being squashed. Uh, because we have such a, uh, a spread out, organized government, we're not a dictatorship. Dictators are easier to topple than governments like ours. And look at how hard it is for these countries that have dictators. They usually end in dis disaster for the rebel for the rebellion. Uh, so, if you go to find yourself in that kind of situation, all you're going to do by fighting is ensure your own death. And you can't even be a martyr because right now there's so much control of the media and the news outlets and everything else uh, that they can even control the message that gets to the people about how you died and why you died. It goes, you, you could easily be turned from uh, patriot fighting for his rights to terrorists threatening his neighbors. You know, and all it takes is a little twist in the news to completely destroy your intent. So uh, your best bet in situations like that is to pretend to acquiesce. Just do what you're told, act like you're going along, act like you don't want to make any waves. And then you have to act uh, covertly. You have to act uh, under the cover of subterfuge. You just have to be smart about it. Uh, when, we, when this country was being formed, when the Founding Fathers decided they were going to rebel against England, you know, they didn't stand up and say, I know, I know people have this weird historic notion that they stood at the edge of the ocean and went, we are going to rebel King George and there's nothing you can do about it and my name is this and this and this. No, they didn't. Uh, they did it very uh, subversively at first. They gathered uh, supporters. They organized an army. They got things ready. They got men and men together. Uh, when the redcoats came into towns and said, "Who here is a member of the rebellion?" They didn't, st you know, they didn't stand up and go, "I am." They kept their mouths shut. They acted like nothing was going on because they were smart about it. And that was even. Uh, they even stood more of a chance than we did. They had a central power that was across an ocean in a time where mess news didn't travel very fast. Here, it's too organized, it's too quickly, the word travels too fast, and the message is too easily controlled for things to be open like that. Uh, so, yet no, I would not fight. I would not sacrifice myself for nothing. And, then, and fighting when the government came to take your guns individually from your home would be sacrificing yourself for nothing. Think back to the last time you remember a standoff with the police coming out positive for the person doing it, uh, much less stand off against the government. So to answer the question simply, no, I wouldn't. That's why I wouldn't. If I decided I needed to fight back against a corrupt government, I'm going to do so in a way that I actually stand a chance of winning. I'm not just going to throw myself away. I'm not going to throw my family's life away. So I'm going to think about it. I'm going to work in it in a different way. And no, I'm not going to be the guy you see on the news who gets gunned down by federal agents.